it's my birthday and Kath got me a Weber. Um, I think that she thinks this is going to stop me digging holes in the garden to barbecue in. It's not. It's not. I'm going to see if I can smoke some trout in this planter. Come watch. I'm still feeling kind of resentful about the failure that was the barbecue pit. So I'm going to smoke some trout in it. Uh, I'm just going to build some bricks up on the side, um, about like yay high, and then hang a trout down into it, cover the whole thing in a uh, um, uh, wet cloth of some kind. I'm not sure what I'm going to use for that. Um, uh, and then leave that for like maybe 20 minutes. Peg, can I have some of your blanket? I just need like a little bit of blanket to s use to seal the barbecue to steam with. Is that okay? I feel bad about this, Peg. <laughs> You don't, you, you don't use the whole blanket. You have it all folded up. Like, you're not even going to notice the bit that, I've, that I'm going to use. I've heard people talking about using hessian sacks for this um, to cover the steamer with. Like, I have just a sack made of hessian lying around from the last, like, 20 kilo sack of coffee beans that I got from the local haberdasher or whatever. No one's got that. Use a dog blanket. Got this like fence post for some reason. That can go over the top like that. Fish hanging off of it. Yes. Yeah. Just like that. Bonza. Basic technique when you're cutting stuff is just you sort of keep everything leaning away from the blade. Stops you from losing digits. I'm just going to salt that skin side for both of them, just in case you do get a bit of skin. That might be nice. And then the flesh side as well. Um, and then that's ready to go into that basket, that seasoning on the fire. Not too worried about the sort of rust or anything on this end because the skin's going to protect us from that. And luckily we don't really want the skin in this situation. Just like that. Like that. And then I'll go over the top and back round just to keep it high up off of the direct heat. Okay, wood chips, get some smoke going and then cover it up. There we go, that's pretty much happened straight away. Because I didn't measure what I was doing, as usual, this sheet didn't actually cover the smoker. I also used too many wood chips, so it got incredibly smoky. I had to get the rest of Peggy's blanket, which hadn't been washed, and cover it with that, which is obviously super hygienic. If you're following along at home, just skip these steps. You don't need them. Do you think that the Weber was like a joke pig. Piggy? Pets, pets, pets. <laughs> All right, so it's had about five or six minutes. It's probably ready to come off. A whole bunch of smoke's gonna come out of this. Um, so I want to cover it straight back up because this is a suburban neighborhood. All right. It is hot. And 
that is to be expected. Nice.